Hey there! Today I'm going to be making a beautiful puzzle. I found this project at instructables.com and it was designed by Martin Rainsford. The puzzle has 12 parts and the goal is to assemble it into a beautiful shape that looks like a 3D star. But I don't have this puzzle yet, I'm going to cut it from plywood using my new laser cutter. This is Akmer P2 laser engraver. It comes in a beautiful box, similar to what you get when you buy a TV or any high-tech device nowadays. Pictograms on the box state super simple assembly in one minute, ultra high precision industrial guide rails, ultra high engraving speed, high laser power output. I have 33 watt laser here, high power automatic air assist system. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Everything is neatly packed and have labels. Here is accessory package with power brick, USB cable and small bag with Case, flash drive and a spare cable. Next we have a 10 watt air pump with output of 25 liters of air in a minute. Safety goggles come in a small box. That looks quite fancy, usually safety goggles come just in a plastic bag. And the goggles have the red glass. A small plastic box with sign tools has screwdrivers and zip ties inside. Laser module box has spare lenses and a 33 watt laser inside. The laser model has a focus lever and air assist connection on the side. As always, there is a box with sample materials, you can use them to test your machine, but Akmer decided to send me a huge box full of different samples so that I can show you how the machine works. There is a piece of 30 mm black acrylic. I never tried cutting acrylic before, but it will be interesting to see the result. Akmer claims that their laser can cut through 30 mm of black acrylic. We will see if it's true later. There are wooden sticks of 20 mm, 25 and 30 mm, stainless steel flask. I'll be definitely using it after filming my video. A couple of pieces of transparent glass, keychain of all shapes and sizes, a large steel plate and bunch of sheets of 3 mm plywood. I think I'm gonna use them for my project, since they look much better than the plywood that I have. And now it's time to remove the laser from the box and make it ready to work. Let's see if under one minute assembling is really true. All what I have to add to the frame is laser module itself, plug the cable and air pipe. You can use the machine now, but I'm gonna plug the air assist as well. It took me just 50 seconds to assemble the machine. That was really quick. The assembled machine looks nice and clean. All cables are organized properly and zip tied. Akmer P2 has some basic safety features, including the emergency stop button, the key, flame detector and tilt move detector. The machine is equipped with built-in Wi-Fi and you can control it using the app in your smartphone. I did all projects in this video using the Wi-Fi. The app isn't very stable, but using cables feels outdated. The Akmer P2 is equipped with high precision industrial guide rails. They make moves of the laser more precise and stable. If you're using rotary device, the machine is equipped with a quick switch. You don't have to plug in or out the cable every time you switch between modes. Now it's time to plug the power cable, turn the key, press the power button, and now we are ready to cut some projects. I'll start with cutting 30 mm black acrylic. It took me 7 passes to cut through it. Just a quick warning, the acrylic smells really nasty when you cut through it, so it's better to keep away from the laser when it is cutting. Next was a 20 mm stick, laser cut through it in 2 passes. Let's do some engravement next. I'll engrave my logo on a flask. It looks nice even though I couldn't align the flask properly and the logo is shifted to the left, but it will work for me. Now I'll do some tests on the 3mm thick plywood since I'm gonna use it for my project so I have to know the proper power and speed settings. I cut 4 circles all at 85% power with speed from 400mm per minute to 700mm per minute. The 400mm and 85% power gives the best result. I could go on 100% power and higher speed but I like using lasers on lower power to make them last longer. Now I'm ready to start cutting my project. With 400 mm per minute speed and 85% power, it took me 20 minutes to cut the project. I was totally satisfied with the result, the parts came off easily and there were no charring on the sides. When you hold the parts in hands, they don't leave marks on your fingers, so the cutting went just perfect. If you are looking at a high quality laser engraver and cutter for your next project, take a look at the Akmer P2. It is not only looks great, but it also does its job very well. Akmer P2 has everything you can wish for in diet laser. Link to Akmer official store and Amazon will be in the video description. And now let's move to solving the puzzle. 
And now we move to the best part, solving the puzzle. We have 12 exactly the same parts and the goal will be to assemble them into kind of a 3D star. Let's see how to do that. I remember that it is supposed to be something. Oh, I guess that looks nice already. Then the next piece, I guess it's supposed to go right here. It is three parts. Oh, it will be difficult to hold everything in hands. Maybe I have to use some glue or maybe rubber bands. Let's see what's next. The next one will be this piece. And it is supposed to go here. Okay, it, nope, nope, no, falling apart. Hold it. Okay, looks good so far. It is four parts. They create one of the corners of the star. But I guess it will be not four, but five, since each piece has five kind of parts and I guess the piece is supposed to go here as well. Yeah, the issue with holding the parts together is really serious. I don't know what to do. Okay, this piece definitely goes here. And we will have, wait, 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 don't fall apart. And we have five parts. Oh no, everything is falling apart. Oh, the trick here is to connect parts not only on top, but also on the bottom. It feels nice. And the last piece, it kind of supposed to go between two parts. Yeah, like that. It looks good, but everything starts falling apart. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, now these five are assembled. Let's see where I have to add more parts. Oh, I already see one tricky part, which will be almost impossible now to put, since one of these parts is supposed to go in each of these holes. There are five. So I guess I have to disassemble my shape again and assemble it back. Oh, that will be difficult. And then I guess I have to create another half with exactly the same parts, exactly the same shape, and then connect them together. No, 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 don't fall apart. No, no, ah. Everything was so nice until everything fell apart. Okay, maybe I have to start over and start with just three parts like this and it feels more stable already. Let's see, this goes here. I have to connect it with this part. Yeah, it feels a little bit more stable now. Now I'm gonna slowly add some more parts. Okay, the next piece. It is supposed to be here, very nice. Now I'm gonna grab it here and add one more piece right here. And the last piece will go right here, but everything is falling again. No, 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 no. Keep the shape. Yeah, okay, now this middle piece is in the middle. I just have to adjust the rest of the parts. Okay, when all parts are adjusted properly, the whole shape feels more stable. I'm gonna put it aside. I hope it don't fall apart. And now I'll try to assemble the second part, which will have exactly the same number of parts, but First of all, I have to think if I have to do it exactly the same way or maybe I have to put it through the openings of the other parts. I think that I'm going to assemble the same shape and then figure out how to assemble them together. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so two halves are ready. Now I have to figure out the way how to put them together. So I guess this goes here, this goes here. Everything looks fine, but now I have to spread these parts and put them through openings in the other half. Oh, that will be almost impossible. If I had extra hand, it will be a little bit easier. Okay, don't fall apart, don't fall apart. Okay, this goes in nicely. But I have to do it with all other parts. And I feel like the shape on the left start falling apart. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea to assemble two halves and then assemble them together. Maybe I had to add parts to, to this shape. That would be probably much easier. Okay, but I'm gonna stick to the plan and hope I can still use this shape. Okay, that is the second one. And I have three more like that. Okay, probably the previous method works well. I have just to squeeze parts between the other parts and just hope for the best that the shape won't fall apart. Okay, probably the last one will be the hardest. Okay, that goes almost well. One more in and I have just the last piece left. Oh, oh, the left shape is falling apart. No, 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 no. Please squeeze inside without breaking the entire puzzle. I think that I made it. So I guess I have to go through all, I don't know how many corners are here and just align all parts properly. Okay, I think I made it. Oh, <laughs> that was very difficult, especially the last part where I had to put two parts together. I think that I made a huge mistake uh, making two halves and then assembling, assembling them together. Probably I had to make one half and then just add, add piece by piece to assemble the final shape. But it was actually fun and it looks very beautiful. It reminds me of the Nova Plexus puzzle from Two Brass Monkeys, but that one was made from brass and this one is made from plywood. And I made it myself on my laser engraver. This puzzle looks complex and very beautiful. I can't believe I was able to assemble it. That was really tricky. I'm surprised my hands are still clean. Usually after solving a puzzle made on a laser cutter, I have some marks on my hands, but with Akmer P2, there are no marks. It feels more like a CO2 laser than diode laser. Probably it's because of a high power laser module. If you like this beautiful 12 piece puzzle and you wanna make it by yourself, I will put a link to the project in the video description. And if you are looking for a good laser engraver for this project, link to Akmer P2 will be in the video description as well. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time.